Hello, myself Govind Neglur. I welcome you all for the tutorial on use of LaTeX for report writing and presentation. In this session, we will see how to specify bullets and numbering using LaTeX. This will be a hands-on session wherein I'll be demonstrating the LaTeX code using Text Studio as an ID. So without waiting further, let's get started. What is bullets and numbering? You might have already come across this term if you are a regular user of MS Word. Bullets and numbering lets us number or represent the text in a pointwise fashion. However, in LaTeX, bullets are referred to as unordered lists and numbering is referred to as ordered list. So this session, we will see how to specify lists which can be of two types, ordered or unordered lists in LaTeX. Lists appear in documents, especially in academic, because their purpose is to often present the information to the reader in a clear, concise and easy to read format. Lists in LaTeX come in three types. The first one is called as itemized list or bulleted list or unordered list. The second one is called as enumerated list or numbered list or ordered list. LaTeX also has a third type of list called as descriptive list. So we use the keywords itemize, enumerate and description to specify these types of lists in LaTeX. This is the syntax to create an unordered list. To create an unordered list, we use the keyword itemize and embed it in the begin and end environment. Each element of that list is to be specified separately with item command. This is the overall syntax of unordered list. Coming to the ordered list, we use an environment called enumerate and embed it between begin and end and each elements of the ordered list should be placed inside item commands. So this is the syntax for an ordered list. This is how you would specify a descriptive list. The difference between the previous two list and this list is we use description environment and embed it between begin and end. In the item command, we optionally specify the name of the description in a pair of square brackets. Whatever you specify in the square brackets, that will be the name of the list. Now we will switch over to Text Studio and demonstrate these type of lists. We'll see how each list produces the type setting in the LaTeX document. As you can see, I have now opened Text Studio. I have also opened a new file named it as list.tech. In this document, I will be demonstrating the various types of lists in LaTeX. First, I will demonstrate the use of unordered list. For this, I will type this following text. Following are the list of wild animals. For this to specify unordered list, I have to use itemize environment. So I'll write begin itemize and in between each item command, I will have to specify the names of wild animals. I'm going to specify the following as wild animals, tiger, panther, lion, elephant. Now when I compile this and build it, let's see how it displays. You can now notice each of these elements which were specified under item command have been specified with the field circle. This is we call it as a bullet. Hence, since there is no name given to each of these items, this comes under unordered list. Now to specify an ordered list, it is very easy. Just replace this itemize keyword with enumerate keyword. Let us see what happens now. You can now see the names of these wild animals have been automatically numbered. So when you use enumerate as a environment, all the items of enumerate environment will be given a unique number. And also notice the type setting for this will be automatically taken care by the document class itself. Now to specify descriptive list, I'll use lipsum package. The lipsum package where was discussed in the previous video sessions. You can have a look into them. I'll just use the dis description environment and after item, I need to specify an optional label. So this time I'll specify it as a pet and use some lipsum command and I'll import first paragraph from the list lipsum command. Next I'll write 
wild lipsum 2 so when i build this you can notice now instead of a bulleted list or numbers description environment specifies the name that is written in the square brackets as the list itself so you can see here now both these paragraphs have been ordered or have been specified as a list and the name of the list is pet as well as wild so this is how easy it is in latex to specify the various types of lists you can imagine the effort that is required to do the same thing with respect to word document you need to remember all the various options as well as you need to go use the mouse and then click all the options to get the bullets and numbering enabled for your text next we will see some of the customizations that can be possible as well as how to perform nesting of the list using latex in latex it is possible to specify one list inside another list this is referred to as nested list nested list can be a combination of ordered unordered as well as descriptive list i will now show you the way the nested lists are used in latex i'll now delete this descriptive list i will make this ordered list change it to plural forms now suppose i want to describe about tigers how can i specify it i can use a nested list for doing this what do i mean by this suppose i want to describe tigers now so i'll write about tigers then i can now create a new unordered list and specify various features of tigers like this since unordered list can be used or can be created using itemize environment i will now type here tigers are ferocious animals the second description about tigers i will write is they live in shrub jungles they are mostly found in asian countries now when i build this what you will notice is now the description about tigers is now displayed as a bulleted list or an ordered list this is what i refer to it as a nested list you can see here in the first level of list we have a numbered list and within the numbered list i have now specified an unordered or bulleted list same way i can also demonstrate about nested list for elephants also i will now write about elephants here i have just demonstrated the nested list up to one level the nested list can be specified up to multiple levels and also here i have started with an ordered list and also end and ended with an unordered list i can combine any of the ordered as well as unordered list and specify it as a nested list so i'll now specify like this i want uh, an ordered list so i'll write enumerate inside this we know that there are two types of elephants first one is african elephants now i want to describe few things about african ele elephants so i will specify it as a itemized list these are found only in africa they are huge animals with big ears they cannot be easily tamed so these are few of the points about african ele elephants we can now see here if i now build it what you would see is after this point 4 it has started with a so this is how the nested list appears for ordered list so after the arabic numbering system in the next level it's automatically provides alphabets for numbering the list now i'll go ahead and specify the second type of ele elephant which is asian elephant you can now notice this itemize environment is part of this item and next one will be the part of the asian elephants item again i'll use itemize environment this time i'll describe it as these are found in asia they are small compared to their 
African counterparts and have smaller ears, they can be easily tamed. These are few points about Asian elephants. So you can now see here about elephants. I have started with the order list, which is displayed as A and B. Within A and B, I have few points about these elephants. So this is the combination of ordered as well as unordered list. So this example shows nested list, where is wherein in the first level we have ordered list. In the second level, again we have ordered list. In the third level, we have an unordered list. So like this, I can keep on specifying the nested operations. Next, what I will show you is like this with how many levels I can nest. For this, I will write a very simple code. First, I will show you how the nesting occurs for ordered list and what is the maximum level for that. So I will start with this begin enumerate in the item I will specify A again I will open one more order list this time I will specify B enumerate this time I will specify C so what I am doing is I am just checking how many levels we can nest for each of the list D so D means fourth level I can nest I will try the fifth level E so Text Studio automatically completes the end section of it. So when I compile it now, you can see here it is showing one error. The name of the error is too deeply nested using begin enumerate. What is the meaning of this error is by default in LaTeX, lists can be nested up to four levels. What do you mean by four levels? This is the first level, second level, third level and fourth level. Fifth level or more nesting is not possible in LaTeX by default. Now does that mean that it is totally not possible to nest the lists up to more than four levels? It is possible but you need to write some customization code which I will not be covering in this section. So I am now going to delete it then going to build it. So you can now notice in the first level of order list you get Arabic numbers 1, 2, 3. In the second level, you get A, B, C with small case letters. In the third level, you get Roman literals in small case. In the fourth level, you get capital letters as ordered list. So this is how it displays all the four nested levels. Now what if I change it to itemize? Entirely wherever I specify enumerate, I will now change it to itemize. I will change it here also, here also, here also. So when I build it now, what you can notice is the first level of unordered list starts with a bulleted list or filled circle. Second level starts with a dash. Third level starts with a star and fourth level starts with a dot. Again, for unordered list, nesting up to fourth level is, also, is only allowed fifth or more level of nesting is not allowed by default in LaTeX. Now what if I want to customize the numbers and letters that appear in nested order list or the various symbols that appear in the unordered list. So these are the numbers and alphabets as well as the filled circles as well as these dash star and dot symbols. So what if I want to customize the look and feel of such things. Is there a way in LaTeX? The answer is obviously yes, there is a way. We will now see how to customize the look and feel of lists in LaTeX. We will tackle the customization for ordered and unordered lists separately. For customizing ordered list, we need to use a package named enumerate to be able to change the numbering in the ordered list. Now I will add use package command and add the enumerate into the code. Having included the enumerate package, next we need to control the numbering style. What do you mean by controlling numbering style? We can choose to specify Roman numbers that include both capital as well as small case numbers. Here, please note that while we define 
Roman numbers, we have capital as well as small case numbers for both. I hope you are aware of this. Also, English alphabets as numbering in both capital and small case letters. And also, we can specify regular Arabic numbers. Specifying either one of these as numbering in ordered list is referred to as numbering style. So, what is numbering style? In brief, it is specifying the Arabic numbers, the English alphabets, as well as Roman numbers as numbering style is what we refer to it as controlling the numbering style. Now, how do I control the numbering style? Say, for example, to specify instead of numbers as the ordered list in the first level, if I want to specify English capital alphabets as numbering style in the ordered list, we need to use or we need to add an optional numbering style to the begin command of the enumerate. What do I mean by this? This is the begin command of enumerate for that particular level. I need to add an optional command in a pair of square brackets and specify instead of this Arabic number 1, 2, 3, 4, which numbering style I want in the order list. Suppose instead of displaying 1, 2, 3, 4 like this, I want to display A, B, C, D with dot in capital case letters. How do I do it? It is very simple. In the square brackets, just type A and dot. So when I compile and build it now, you can see the look and feel of it. Now instead of 1, 2, 3, 4 in the first level, it is showing B, C, A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. Now what if I want Roman numbers? It is very simple. Just type capital I, build it, compile and build it. So your LaTeX will understand that it has to typeset the ordered list in the first level in Roman capital numbering format. What if I want in small numbering format for Roman? Just type I, which is the first alphabet in the ordered list that is to be displayed here. Compile it. You can now see it is displaying in all Roman letters. What if I want in small English alphabet? Very simple A dot, whatever you typeset here, that will be displayed over here. Now you might notice here in the second level, automatically it has displayed. A in a pair of parentheses. How to do this? Again, it is very simple. Just embed that first letter of the list in pair of lower brackets. So when I run this now, what you notice is it is now displayed in a pair of parentheses. This is a very handy tool and customizing the order list is very easy with the use of enumerate package. Sometimes you might have observed in specifying algorithms or specifying the some steps in a particular problem each steps they specify it as step one step two so on and so forth how can we easily specify this i'm going to tell you now for this you just need to write like this step hyphen one and if you want to embed it in a pair of parentheses you can do it or else if you simply write Step 1 with dot. Let's see what happens now. You can now notice each point in the ordered list is now specified as step. This is a very handy tool. You can also change it like this. Now you can see here it is now displayed with step 1 to step n. This is how easy it is to specify custom numbering in case of an ordered list. Now, how will I do the same thing with respect to unordered list? To customize bullet styles in unordered list, it is a bit complex compared to customizing ordered list. Let us now try to understand it bit by bit. There are various stages to remember for doing this. First, we need to use a package named AMS SYMB. I'll first write this package here. You might be asking what is this what is the meaning of this AMS stands for American Mathematical Society AMS packages are extensively used in typesetting professional looking mathematical formulas more on mathematical formula typesetting in the future video sessions this package which is AMS sim SYMB represents symbol so AMS sim represents the symbols which were specified by American Mathematical Society. 
so this package contains all the symbols that are used in mathematical equations the symbols are specified as commands like backslash square to display an empty square backslash black square to display filled square backslash diamond to display hollow diamond so on and so forth specifying these symbols while customizing unordered list is referred to as controlling the bullet style so this is the first and second step for customizing the unordered list levels first we need to use a package called ams symb then we need to control the bullet style next we need to specify to which level we need to apply the bullet style as seen earlier we have up to four levels we can name them as 1 2 3 4 hence levels are specified as roman numbers written in small case like this we need to use both of these that means the controlling of bullet style as well as the levels in a command called backslash renew command so i have written this renew command over here note that i have written this renew command in the preamble this command which is renew command is a general command in latex that is used to customize many options if you have seen my previous video sessions on the latex you might have already come across this command called renew command i have discussed the same command for specifying the table of contents adding ruler for headers and footers changing the name of the abstract page so in all these scenarios i have already discussed renew command if you are interested to know the usage of renew command for customizing the above said options you can have a look into the videos the link of the videos will be provided in the top right corner you can just go there and then watch those videos here we will be using renew command for customizing the unordered list also we will use the same command in future video sessions extensively for specifying or customizing many of the options of latex the general syntax for renew command with respect to customizing the unordered list goes like this we need to specify renew command and after that in a pair of flower brackets type the command label item then you need to specify which level of unordered list for which you want to apply this label item then in a another pair of flower bracket inside a pair of dollar symbols remember dollar symbols are to be used mandatorily when we are dealing with mathematical equations as said earlier i'll be talking about mathematical equations in the future video sessions inside a pair of dollar symbols we need to specify the style this is a general syntax i will modify it for one example so this level the possible values of this level are roman number 1 2 3 and 4 why only 4 because there are only four levels of nesting that is possible for a list as well as unordered list by default so now i will tell you the usage of this command here in the right hand side if you see when i specify the information about tigers it is showing it as a or filled circle now what if i want to change it to a hollow square so this is the first level so i need to go here and type the do the modification for renew command since i am going to change the first level of this itemize i will simply write it as i here i means level 1 i means it is to be interpreted as roban literal 1 and now i want to specify instead of a filled circle a hollow square for this i need to use a command called backslash square this is the reason we use ams symb package or ams symbol package because this symbol is available in this package so let me build this and show you the output of this you can now notice instead of filled circle you are able to display a hollow square and also since you have specified this renew command in preamble 
for the first level of each itemized environment that you use here this modification will be applied what do you mean by this the itemized environment was used here also it was used here and you what you notice is everywhere in the first level of the entire document where itemized environment has been used it will now going to change it to a filled or empty square what if i want say a symbol called plus it is it is very easy just use plus from the keyboard build it what you now notice is in the first level of every itemized option or unordered list that you use it gets changed to plus what if i want to display a multiplication symbol this is specified with a command called times again available in ams symbol if i build it now observe what happens now each of the list in unordered level first level list they gets typeset with a cross symbol you can also use a diamond see what happens and now see it is changed to diamond now what if i want to change this fourth level from dot to say a filled square or a black square for this again i need to copy paste this command since i want to change the fourth level of unordered list from dot to something else so here since i am dealing with the fourth level i need to specify iv iv here represents fourth level and i want a black square so i'll type the command black square so in the fourth level it should get displayed with typeset with black square let's see what happens so you can notice here now d has been changed to a black square so this is how it is to specify or customize the listings for unordered list compared to ordered list specifying or customizing the look and feel of unordered list is bit cumbersome we need to remember renew command as well as label item followed by the bullet controlling of bullet style and as well as the level and also followed by the commands for displaying each of the symbols now having seen the various types of lists in latex as well as having studied how to customize the ordered as well as unordered list you can now try to typeset the output that i have got by typing the latex code so this is the output i got try to get the same kind of output by writing the latex code on your own so you can just imagine how can you print the standard colors with the uh, numbered or bullets followed by this is a uh, empty diamond symbol this is a filled square symbol this one is roman literals with a dot like this this is the descriptive list try to write a latex code that gives you this as the output in fact this 1 2 3 don't confuse it with a list it is actually a section number with this we have come to the end of the session on bullets and numbering using latex i hope you enjoyed this session in the next video session i will be discussing one of the most interesting topic of learning latex which is typesetting mathematical equations thank you for watching have a nice day